this is gonna be the same deck, especially since I have like eight replays and you have four, so uh this is yeah. the same deck, but this one's a little more involved. This is not like my opponent solemned my summon and like reduced his resources. This one's this is one of the weirdest duels I've ever played. So the first card my opponent plays is Reasoning. You know what is Reasoning does, be... I assume. Yeah, yeah, I remember Reasoning. I used to play Reasoning back when you used to go for Magician of Black Chaos and summon three of them and then win yeah. the game. So what, <laughs> what what number do you call with Reasoning, Matt? I, I'm like Aslan here. It's like, don't talk to me about Reasoning. I was there when it was written. <laughs> <laughs> reasoning, you always call one because it's got to be Decatron, right? Right, yeah, it's got to be Decatron. Well, first card is 13. another Reasoning. Who's got 13 on their Reasoning? Oh, I would, uh, yeah. At a amateur. Yeah. Oh, so he actually reasoning straight up to the I was doing the invoker. What this oh. It I does. guess there's some logic there, right? You might actually you might send the invocation to the graveyard and you can get it back. I but you still need to get the out rid of Alistair to get it back, right? Yeah, well you could link him off, but like oh, yeah, yeah. I I don't understand this at all. Immediately I I'm now tilted. I have no idea what the heck Hat is trying to do to me here, but Apparently, reasoning for Alistair and the normal summon Alistair. You got it, man. <laughs> like, well done. Yeah, and then, like, that's going to make his light, and then he can play Invocation, and he can make Mechaba and all those good things that Invoked always does. Hey, Skinner Beard, welcome to the chat. Hope you're having a good time. Add back the monster to his hand so that he has a hand trap to make it 35 or a monster to discard for a negate. And he's going to end his turn with this reasoning to Alistair on the board. Like, cool. Yeah, that was a weird reasoning. Uh, the <laughs> invoked Mechaba, that card actually was another reason I was struggling to climb with Burn, because it's they constantly have ways to sort of, like, mess with your mess with your game plan. And it's one of the reasons I ended up switching to, when I got the Platinum, it's just like, where I need to actually play, like, a serious deck. I'm playing against players that are very competent, and they're not playing... Um, Decks that are going to give you uh, an inch to move if you really want to climb. Yeah. So, at this point, I see one interaction and maybe Ash. So, the goal is flush Mechaba. Like, just play a card. Let's see if he's stupid enough to negate an upstart. He's not. No, okay, no, 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 kill no, no, negate no, no, engage. On, hold on. I don't, I don't want to be clear here. We should probably not be mean about any of our opponents. Like, the, the, the fact that some of the plays may be questionable to us, you got to give them the thought of charity that... It made sense to them at the time that they made it. Sure. And it doesn't necessarily mean it was the right play, but like, I, I don't want, for example, any of my opponents, like, if they do catch this on YouTube later or anything, to think that I would be disrespectful uh, during the game. So. You know, that's fair. I'm sorry to Hado here. If he wanted but, to negate Upstart Goblin, yeah. probably had a good reason, but he didn't. And then you play Engage, and there's no way, again, that someone doesn't negate Engage, so time to see a spell leave his hand. Cool. Yeah, yeah. You, you kind of have to negate the engage because you're thinking your opponent's on Sky Striker. And right? he discards Witchcraft or Collaboration. And I, I don't know what this card is, but I do know that in the end phase it comes back to his hand. And I'm like, okay, so now I still know he has an Alistair in hand and he's got a couple more unknowns in there. Let's just drop Ray. Yeah. I mean, this is my favorite thing about playing engage in any of the decks is that your opponent's immediate thought is, is, is most likely Sky Striker. <laughs> if it resolves, it's great for you, and it flushes opponents' uh, Ash Blossoms, left, right, and center, and, and uh, Corner Gates as well. So, I'm on Chaos Sorcerer in this replay because I ran out of Ultra Rares, so I couldn't get a Dogmatica Fleur de Lee, and I needed something to dump with Souls, and Chaos Sorcerer was a common. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, oh, we just take the scuffed, uh, the scuffed Fleur. But Souls has this thing that lets me discard two spells to draw two. It's crazy in this deck, terraforming. And, like, he hasn't doesn't appear to have any other kind of interaction. There's Orochi, Chicken Game, and Maxi. Three fantastic cards, but none of them Sky Strikers, so Souls is just going to stay in play. So, time to Desires, get a couple more cards, and make Zeke, and we're just going to get that off the field for this turn. And that's when he drops this. And this leads back to, like, I forgot this card even existed, but sure enough, like... I targeted a spellcaster, so he gets to summon this card from his hand. And there goes my Zeke. Like, cool. It doesn't negate the effect, but, like, at the very least, I get Ray back, so I'm not, like, left with nothing. 
But he's got this, like, 2800 zero monster now that in my standby phase returns to his hand. He's going to get that spell back to his hand, so I'm going to use... And you also have the Mecha Burst switches back on and gets another negate, yeah. so you're in a really bad position. And I'm just going to set all my spells, go into Shizuku, get a search, and Shizuku will weaken his board ever so slightly. And I'm, I get this to make sure I have a monster for next turn, because I'm pretty sure Mechaba's going to negate Ray coming back. Yeah, and then the Mechaba has a negate on your turn as well, and because I'm playing in boat, <laughs> they're going to... I don't necessarily agree with that. Yeah. Should he so... have not summoned the Al Would you not summon the Alistair, get an invocation, and... So he has to assume that I have things like Widow Anchors set, so he's just yeah. making sure his guy's big enough to beat Shizuku through me activating uh, more spell cards. But yeah, yeah. It, it's a weird decision. Ray comes back and he activates that and discards. And I'm like, okay, but doesn't that literally like just tell me all of your cards now? And it, it's... That's not perfect information, right? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I take this 28, it's whatever. And then... He's going to get that collaboration back. I don't actually know what the other card in his hand is. I thought I knew the collaboration. I don't until that moment. But he's only got one unknown now. And so he activates Aroru to return it to his hand. And I use Widow Anchor, hoping that he'll try to negate the Widow Anchor with Mechaba because I'm going to get to take his 2800 guy. And he does. But he discards the other card in his hand. Rather okay. than the spell that I knew. So now I have perfect information. Now I know he has collaboration in his hand. At which point it's like, okay, so the rest of this is just free. I can Widow Anchor the Mechaba. And because I still control no monsters, I can Shark Cannon that monster he discarded. And then because I have no monsters, I can also Hornet Drones. And just... I'm just going to play his deck for a little while. Because like you said, I had no cards left. My deck wasn't working. So now I'm just going to play Witchcrafter Invoked for a little bit. <laughs> See, this is the reason I don't like Sky Strikers on the ladder at the moment. It's like, even when you play Sky Strikers, you're playing whatever they're playing. <laughs> so, I I'm just a Witchcrafter Invoke. Don't worry about it. It's fine. And, uh, just gonna get Kaina here. Everyone's happy. And just take out this Alistair that Reasoning got, and uh, I removed with the, oh my god, what's it called? Zeke for a little bit, and it came back. And, like, okay. Let's see if Area Zero lets me send his guy. Kaiser Coliseum. Hey, this is a spell card. Wonderful. And another Kaiser Coliseum. So, yeah, so there goes yeah, this guy. Kaiser Coliseum's legal in this format. That's... <laughs> Gain 100. It's it's... Gain it's another 100. Format. And then just, you know, I know his card in his hand. So, I'm just going to, like, make a BLS.com and just, like, use his guys. Use a level 7 or higher, thanks to both of his monsters. Did he just call that Black Luster Soldier dot com? Well, yeah, he's... The, I'm not going to call him Black Luster Soldier Soldier of Chaos or whatever. There's like 30 different BLSs, but this one's a link, so he's BLS.com. <laughs> I like that. BLS.com. That's an easy way of remembering it. And then he top decks the best possible card he could see in his entire deck. Uh, <laughs> that's a one that searches for a Witchcrafter card, right? It discards one to special summon... It's Lone Fire Blossom for like the win con card of the deck. And then uh, okay. banishes from the graveyard to dump the, like, really good spell. So now both of those spells add back to his hand. And the other spell that he dumps gets to set itself, or activate itself to the field. And, like, I'm looking at this and it's like, okay, if I try and battle this, he's got two spells to discard. Uh, he can reveal any number of spells in his hand. And if he does, uh, his battling monster gains a thousand attack and defense. So this thing's going to be 3k next turn. It'll be 38 if I try and attack it. And then he can discard a spell to negate the effects of my guys. It's like, oh god, like all of a sudden, like things are looking really, really bad for me. And what well, do I have? Kai's Coliseum. This match. I'm not gonna lie, the majority of this match things have been looking bad for me. <laughs> Area zero, pick Kai's Coliseum, and because I'm a Sky Striker player, I'm destined to just whiff with Area Zero every time I use it. But you could still set Area Zero with multi roll to get a free monster, and all I need to finish this duel is a body, because three and one is still Access Code Talker, <laughs> and nothing ever matters when you have Sky Strikers and Access Code Talker. Just comes in and you can't respond to him. Comes in, just takes a smash, get out of our face. Uh, thanks, Hato, I think his name was. Yeah, Hato. Yeah, uh, just Hat or Hato, something like that. Yeah, that's that was a good. That was that was a good game. Was, I can see why you were tilted by that. <laughs> 